What's up guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I know I sure am. Not only that, but check out this view behind me. Yep, we are out exploring again. And before we do some exploring, I just want to take the time to thank you so much for all your prayers. For those of you guys that didn't know, my dad was in the hospital. He was very sick uh, these past couple of weeks. And this guy is now home with us and we are so excited to have him back. So now that he's home, he's with my mom, he's being taken care of. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to take the time to get out and just enjoy some outdoors. And at the same time, you know, bring you guys along with me. I have a very special meal prepared for me today. Uh, I've been craving shrimp, guys. I've been craving seafood. Uh, by the way, I do have a video coming up very soon that I'm going to give you guys a little, a little sneak peek a little later. Uh, and that's for those of you guys that love fishing. So... Anyways, I've been craving seafood, so I went to Stater Bros, got myself some shrimp, uh, got myself some asparagus with some bacon, and just a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to get some really, really good food in my system today, and I hope you guys can enjoy it with me. I guess, you know, people say that you eat with your eyes before you actually eat it, so you guys can eat with me, but I'm sad to say it's going to be with your eyes. So uh, we're going to unpack everything we're gonna just hang out enjoy the views we might do some off-roading uh, i'm not too sure but for the most part we're gonna focus this video on a lot of food and uh yeah some off-roading as well so enough said let's get into it What is up guys? So man, check out this crazy meal that I cooked myself. By the way, it took me about 45 minutes. And sorry guys, I've been eating, just kind of munching away. But it took me, about, took me about 45 minutes just because there was flies everywhere. And obviously cooking different things. I mean, it just takes a while. Asparagus and bacon, some shrimp. I was craving seafood, so shrimp had to be part of it. Uh, potatoes and red bell peppers. And obviously my favorite, rice. So I've been getting a lot of questions about five things that I always use on my videos. And I figured, you know what, why not make this video just the five favorite things that I use at all times. And we're going to start with number one. Um, that is going to be the Scotto Grill, by the way. Jerry, if you're watching this, this thing is the best. I use it all the time. As you can see, I cook pretty much anything and everything that I could think of. From pancakes to tacos to... To, you guys have seen my videos, so I can cook everything and anything, anytime, anywhere. And uh, I mean, it's just super easy. Uh, you basically just take it out. It's super easy to clean. For those of you guys that haven't watched the other video that I posted about how to clean this, I'll be posting it on down below in the bio. But uh, basically, super easy to clean. It keeps it just, it's just awesome. So number two. Hmm, the shrimp on point. Number two probably has to go to my tent, my iCamper Sky Camp Mini. That thing is just amazing. And um, I'm very picky. For those of you guys that have been watching this channel, I'm very picky with the companies and the product that I use just because if the customer service sucks, I just won't deal with it. iCamper has probably been one of the most attentive 
customer service brand that I've ever worked with. Uh, and these guys are just amazing. The product is made in Korea. And I love the fact that their tents are so comfortable from the memory foam to just, I mean, keeping the temperature inside just right where you need it, especially when it gets really cold. This is a perfect all-weather tent. One thing that I love about rooftop tents is obviously you can set them up wherever you want. It's super easy. And not only that, but it also saves you money. Uh, back in the day, I would go and hit up all the national parks or camping grounds and you had to pay like 30, 50 bucks for a little spot. Well this, you know, when you have a rooftop tent, you can go pretty much anywhere where there's BLM land, post up and it's just as comfortable, if not even better, especially with the views than staying at a hotel or even in one of those camping grounds. Number three, I will have to give it to my Tac Life battery pack. This is something that I've been using for a while now and I was kind of skeptical about making a video about it just because I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. But let me tell you guys something, this is just as good as all the big uh, battery packs on the market. That's including the, the Medic one, that's including uh, the Go Zero one. And this one has more options. You know, you have the wireless charger, you have a light in the back, and you have just as many outputs. And the cool thing about it is that it is a 500 lithium pack. So it lasts forever, it charges, your phone, your laptop, it charges, your Dometic fridge, I mean, you, you can just go in on and on. So that is probably number three. Uh, I use it all the time and I just love the simplicity of it and I love the quality of that battery pack. So for number four, I'll probably have to give it to my front runner roof racks. I mean, I have everything mounted on them. All my accessories from my LP6s to my chase lights to my front runner table my action tracks in the back. I mean, everything is mounted on those racks. And you know what? These are probably some of the best looking and best functional racks out there in the market right now. And I can tell you this by experience because I've owned them for about three years now. And I absolutely love them. I mean, I use them all the time. And uh, they look good, you know? So number five, we're gonna keep it pretty short just because we're, we're losing light and we still have to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to give it to my Dometic fridge. Uh, this thing has been a game changer for me. I've been using it for, I want to say, two years already. And it saved me a lot of money just because I don't have to buy ice. And it keeps everything really fresh and keeps everything neat. When you do have a cooler, unfortunately, sometimes the ice melts and gets through pretty much everything. You know, if you do have eggs in there, you have your produce. I mean, it just kind of gets really, really nasty and sloppy. So... Uh, this definitely keeps everything nice and cool and keeps everything pretty much fresh. The Dometic fridge is one of those things that I do use at all times. If you don't see it in the back of my truck, it's going to be inside my truck. And I do carry water, sodas at all time. And uh, sometimes I carry fruit. I mean, you never know. You're on the freeway, you want something quick to drink. You're at a stoplight, you want some fruit, something to munch on. Everything is there and ready to go. Unfortunately, we are losing light and losing light fast. I hope you guys can still see me, but man, this place looks absolutely beautiful and uh, it's super quiet. You can start hearing the wildlife, you know, there you can hear a little stuff here, a little stuff there, but uh, this is what it's about. I wish I could have camped tonight, but I can't. I got to go back to the wife. You know, I still got to stay local because my dad is still getting better. Got to stay pretty close. So right now, we are probably about an hour and a half away from home. So uh, we're going to start packing up. We're going to finish all this food. And uh, I want to thank you guys so much for always watching. This right here, what I'm doing right now, it's not possible without your support. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for always watching, for always tuning in. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to turn all the Bajas on right now. And we're going to head on home. We're not just like right next to the freeway. It took me a while to get here. So hopefully Baja Designs, if you're watching this, you better, you better, you better guide the way home. Because it's a lot of money on that truck. So let's go. All right, guys. And we are now safe inside the truck. And I'm not going to lie. It was a little freaky while putting stuff away because it got really dark. And uh, you have all these caves all over that lead to who knows where. You never know those zombies coming out, but uh, I pretty much cleaned up, 
cleaned up the place around me because there was trash all over. By the way, guys, if you guys come to, I don't know, destination unknown, please clean up after yourself. And if you see trash, pick it up. But uh, that's just a little PSA, you know, me, a little rant. But uh, got all the lights all turned on. We're going to start heading out and uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go. All right, let's go. I'm not gonna lie guys, it's pretty sketchy, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Bumpy as heck, and uh, I think I know where I'm going. You know what's crazy guys, that I've been here so many times, but I've never been here at night. By the way, check this out guys. This is crazy. Look at this thing. It's a razor that basically caught on fire. Or maybe, I don't know. It's like all gutted out, like it burnt. If you guys are looking for a razor frame, I'll give you the coordinates. The hills just look crazier and steeper. Everything just looks sketchier at night. I might not be taking the same way that I came in through, but everything just looks a little crazier, but no biggie. I'll find my way back somehow. If not, <laughs> I'll probably have to camp here. All right, so check out this huge hill that I have to go up. It's massive! Oh my god. You know what's crazy? That the camera can capture it, but let me tell you guys something. It's steep as heck. And, uh... Oh man. Who cares? Let's do it. Be honest, I don't even know where I'm going. But uh, we're gonna keep going and just find our way out. Hopefully uh, soon. <laughs> All right guys, so finally made it out. And man, check out how bright these lights are. But I'm not gonna lie, I was lost for like 45 minutes. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to set up camp right here because I couldn't find my way out. But I did, thanks to my GPS, I did lock a coordinate back in the day when I first found out about this trail and I was able to locate it, it kind of guided me out. But uh, if it wasn't for that, I would have been camping here tonight. G would have been tripping out because I had no reception. But that's pretty much it. I'm sorry that it didn't go as planned. I was supposed to do more adventuring and just kind of more off-roading for you guys. But I got too busy cooking, too busy just kind of answering questions. But it is what it is. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all the prayers for my dad. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.